Oh man, let me tell you guys something. I do not play Mundo at all. Unless it's Earth, then I'll play him because that's really the only time I feel comfortable playing him and really the only time I know how to effectively play him because, well, he's brain dead. Uh, but today's stereotype is brought to you by the wonderful Mysterious Gamers. Very mysterious indeed. I've always enjoyed stereotyping someone's main and also welcome to the channel, my dude. Hope you enjoy your stay. But before we get into this, stereotypes don't mean everyone. Just because your favorite skin is labeled as a brain dead rock doesn't mean that you yourself are that brain dead rock. It just means you're closer to that title than anybody else. These are also jokes, so please don't attack me for them. All right, we're just having having some fun, not taking this shit too seriously, okay? Okay, let's get it going. The only time you'll see a classic Mundo is either the new player, obviously, or the guy who gets Mundo in Earth and just hurls Q after Q for the entire game. You know, me. Uh, if it's the former, don't worry, easy pickings, have fun, no problem. If it's the latter, however, good luck trying to kill him because he'll just regen all of that damage back, and by the time his ult is finished, it'll already be off a of cooldown, and he's ready for round two of wasting your time. To quote the great Magikarp used fly, Money Man, Money Man Mundo, Money Boy, the make the money, loads of money, Infinity Toes, spend the money, which is fucking ironic because they're broke both in game and in real life because of their poor decision making. This one was pointed out to me by one of our lovely Discord users that Rageborn kind of looks like a WoW character, and I have to agree. So if that's the case, you're ending up with one of two options. The first being Leroy Jenkins, just running in, fuck your plans, let's get this bread. And the second being nonstop grind. Incredibly good, but on a knife's edge as to whether or not he's gonna just snap at you for telling him to move a pixel north instead of south or his farming isn't efficient, or his cues aren't efficient, something. Just just let him do his thing, all right? Let the man do his thing, and hopefully it'll, it'll you know, help you win the coin flip. Who knows? While a rare subspecies of Mundo, these guys are the ones you gotta watch out for. Out of all of the Mundos, this one is most likely going to just completely wreck your shit all game. We're talking like Chris Kyle levels of sniping with how accurate his cleavers are. Like you could be behind a line of minions, right? And they're all standing there and still get hit because this guy is some space-time bending, galaxy brain levels of intelligent Einstein calculator-ness. And just every matchup is his matchup, regardless of where Mundo sits on the ladder and whether or not he's being countered or how organized your team is, it doesn't matter. It's his game, you're in his game, he doesn't like you in his game, so he's gonna make sure you get out as soon as possible. Even if that means making you forfeit at 15 minutes. I don't, he's, I don't get it. So Mysterious Gamers, despite this being their first time here as far as I can tell, gave us some stereotypes for this episode, which I am very grateful for. And this stereotype is one that I agree with. El Macho Mundos seem to enjoy the art of bum-rushing the enemy team for whatever reason, uh, but they don't learn. Uh, they'll just keep running in until it goes their way, and then continue going in, expecting something else to happen or to not happen. Um, it's like confirmation bias, except it, it isn't, uh, if that makes any sense. He's not even toxic. Like, I get it, you know, toxic because of the name, he he xd, so funny, but just, just look at the man, all right? He's just done with everything. He's been playing for God knows how many years, he's seen everything, he's done everything, and he's just, he's just tired of everybody's shit. You know, all you gotta do is, like, slap a VHS filter over that and put on some lo-fi or, or sad boy music and you've pretty much got yourself the league equivalent of a TikTok sad boy that's gonna get, I don't know, like, Five million views, two and a two and a third million likes, and like a hundred thousand comments. 
Just leave him alone, man. He's not, he's not trying to hurt anybody. He's just, he's just done. Fun fact, Mundo in Spanish translates to world in English. The Mundoverse is the Mundo universe, a world of Mundo. Mundo being worldwide, if you will. Now, who do we know that's called worldwide? Perhaps a Mr. Worldwide? That's right, Pitbull. Now you're probably asking yourself, Legion, how in the Mr. Worldwide does Pitbull relate to Mundo? Well, they're both known globally, they both speak Spanish, and they're both the ideal males. So in conclusion, Mundo is Pitbull. Pitbull x Mundo World Tour 2022. Fuck you, there is no stereotype. Out of all the Mundo skins, this one eludes me on stereotyping. There's just something about the man wearing his own face on his own face that just makes me really uncomfortable. His stare unsettles me and it just makes me want to like run away. Like, something happened to that man mentally many years ago, and it's been festering ever since. If there's one thing I can tell you, is that whatever you do, do not look him in the eyes. I mean, do I like, do I really need to say it? I mean, it's, it's, it's Gimp Suit Mundo. Uh, also, Executioner, they'll get executed a lot because it's in the name and it's funny. Um, I really, I don't really know what goes on inside the minds of these guys. But to be fair, neither do they. Um, so I guess it's like if they don't know what they're doing, neither neither do you. You don't know what they're doing. Um, and that confuses you and I guess you lose or, or something. I don't really know. It's a war pig. I don't. I don't really know what else to say. It's a team skin. They think they're so much better than everybody else because they have this skin. So clearly they, they must have been part of that, that world's winning team at one point, right? But uh, but they aren't. They're trash, garbage, no good, terror bad. Uh, but their ego just won't let them realize that. Anybody that tries to tell them they're bad is immediately muted and told that they're wrong. And uh, they still play They still play the champion despite having like a 13% win rate over, I don't know, like 100,000 billion games. But you're wrong, you're wrong, just remember that, you're wrong and they're right. Something, something Frozen fanatic. Every song, every line, every character, every movement, just, just everything. An annoying person who won't give up, no matter the odds, even if the kill count is like 2 to 435, he's not giving up because of family or some bullshit like that. And they're usually queued with someone else, so good luck getting that 20-minute FF in. And there you have it, all the Mundo skins stereotyped. Unless Riot adds more. Uh, but we've got another one in the books, and we're going to continue forward as we always have. I want to thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed your stay. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with everything we do here on the channel. And if you have a champion you want me to stereotype, you can leave those suggestions in the comment section below. I'll take my patented peek and wave the patented wand to see if I can make some patented content. And make sure you follow me over on Twitter at L2KYT and drop on by our Discord server while you're at it. I currently stream every Tuesday at 745 EST for the OOR Rookie Races uh, for another few weeks as this video goes live. But if all goes according to plan, I'm going to have a special stream at the end of the month and I hope to see you all there. But folks, that's going to do it for me today. My name is Legion2K. I want to thank you all so much for stopping by, and I'm signing off.